welcome to the Shared Libraries online tutorial on how to evaluate sources. By the end of this video, you should know how to critically evaluate any source of information. Let's go to the library's research tutorial guide. It's called Introduction to Academic Research, and it can be found by visiting the library's webpage and clicking on Subject and Course Guides in the Quick Links menu. From here, we'll click on Introduction to Academic Research under Research Tutorials. There's a lot of information in this guide, but for this particular tutorial, we'll look at the tab for Evaluating Sources. Once you've found sources for your paper or project, you need a way to determine the validity and relevance of those sources, so you can be sure you're using the best information for your paper or project. The CRAAP test can help you with this. You can use this tool to critically evaluate any source of information, whether it's a book, a journal article, a website, or even a newspaper article. CRAAP is an acronym which stands for Currency, Relevance, Authority, Accuracy, and Purpose. The Currency category of the CRAAP test asks you to look at when the information was published. Here you should also ask yourself, how important is it that you have current information, or will older information suffice? For example, if your topic has to do with technology, health, or science, the majority of the time you're going to want to use very current information. So if you're writing about Alzheimer's disease, you're going to want to look at the most recent research on it. Maybe you just want to look at information published in the last five or so years. However, if you're writing a history paper or a literature paper, older information might be perfectly useful for you. So if you're writing a paper on William Shakespeare, literary criticism from the 1920s might be just as useful as criticism from 2019. The relevance section of the CRAAP test asks you to determine how relevant the information is to your topic. Does it answer your research question? Is your research topic the central focus of the publication? Or does the publication merely mention your topic in passing? Only use information that is relevant to your topic. Authority asks you to look at the author of the information. What can you find out about them? If you found a scholarly article, chances are the author's credentials and affiliations are mentioned on the first and or last page of the article. If not, you may have to search for your author on the internet and see what you can find. Ask yourself what degrees your author holds, what job titles they hold, what university or institution do they work for. It's best that your author or authors hold advanced degrees in the fields about which they are writing. You may find an author with a PhD in political science, but if they're writing about alternative treatments for cancer, you might not want to use that source since the author is not a medical expert. Accuracy is fairly straightforward. Does the information match what you know to be true? For instance, if an article on global warming discussed the earth being flat, that doesn't match what we know as common knowledge. Also, if the information is full of typos and grammatical mistakes, this should be a red flag that signals the source may be unacceptable. Last, purpose asks you why the information exists. Does it exist to inform you, to entertain you, or to persuade you? For research papers, you want to choose information that informs you rather than information that tries to sway you in one direction or another. If you'd like to learn more about the CRAAP test, please watch this short video created by Western Libraries. And if you'd like to try using your hand at the CRAAP test, there's a wonderful PDF in the box titled CRAAP Test Worksheet. Here you can download a copy of the CRAAP test and go through all the criteria of the test, applying a score to each category. At the end, you'll tally up your score and you'll be able to determine if the source is acceptable or not. Thank you for watching the library's tutorial on evaluating sources of information. The next video in our series, you'll learn about the different types of sources you'll find when you begin to look for information on your topic.